We just tried to get video of a dirt devil coming straight for us. see it a little bit. Sketchy. They look like tornadoes. They're not. They're pretty harmless. But still, that's kind of scary. They whipped our uh, awning all around, so we rushed out to to put it back up because we thought it was getting windy and then it was just this dirt devil that passed by. But it's gone now. Look at it. Just a wisp in the wind. Lindsay just left to run to town and our campsite has been overrun with cows. They're everywhere. I was just sitting minding my own business and then the whole RV started shaking. They were rubbing their butts up against the, the, the side of it, scratching themselves. Luckily, Oakley has made friends with the cows, and she no longer barks and growls at them. She's just watching them. Today, we aren't doing anything really exciting. Uh, it is just engine maintenance day so we actually have three engines that we have to maintain we have the uh, rv and the jeep obviously but then we also have uh, our generator which has uh, oil filters and fuel filters and needs all that standard maintenance as well so i got my dirty clothes on and we're going to give this a shot i've actually only ever changed oil on my own one time and that was in the rv um, we're actually not doing the Jeep. Uh, we're planning on getting that done in town just because the tires need, need rotated and other things. And uh, But we couldn't find a good like quick lube or something like that in town. So I'll have to do that some other day. So today I'm just doing the RV and the generator. And I'm only changing uh, the oil. I'm not doing anything else. I'll probably shake out and clean out the air filters, but that's it for that. So Lindsay today went to town and picked up some things. We have a... Uh, a 10 quart uh, like drip pan um, that we can then bring someplace to be recycled. Got some paper towels. We got our filters, um, an oil filter uh, wrench. I also have a tarp that um, I'm gonna put underneath the RV to um, protect the ground so I don't spill anything. And I also have this fancy little thing which I can screw onto the uh, oil containers to help me uh, with filling the oil. So there's really nothing different to changing the oil in an RV. Um, the biggest thing is that in a Class A, or at least most Class A's, uh, the drip pan is really difficult to get to. Not really difficult, but it's kind of difficult to put a drip pan underneath the oil pan. So you can see that this is the axle. Um, and then the oil pan is right above it. Um, and so it's kind of difficult to uh, get the position the drip pan. Um, uh, this drip pan that Lindsay got is actually gonna work out perfectly and there's actually a groove for it to rest uh, on the axle. So I think that's actually gonna work out very nice. I'm down to a slow drip, so I think I'm gonna call it good. I've never used one of these things, so I guess I gotta figure that out. Another thing I forgot to do last time was fill the new oil filter with uh, new oil before I screwed it back on. Um, luckily I had somebody helping me uh, who knew what they were doing, so they corrected me on my mistakes.
Another thing that's tricky about uh, changing the oil in a Class A, at least ours, is that the uh, oil fill is right here. Um, and there's not a lot of room uh, in this compartment to uh, maneuver the bottles around. Uh, but but uh, using this thing really makes the job pretty easy. And this, as and using this and having the one quart sized bottles, uh, it's not too bad. All right, now I'm going to turn the engine on, let it run for a second, see if there are any leaks, and then check the oil pressure. All right, the oil pressure looks good and it's holding steady. I'm not seeing any leaks, so I think we're good to go. All right, now I'm gonna try and change the oil in the generator. The only thing I'm worried about is getting the oil filter out. Um, the access to it isn't that great. Uh, it's underneath here, but there's not a lot of room to get to it. So the oil filter is only on there hand tight, which I don't know uh, how great that is, but um, I mean, I guess it's withstood all the uh, roads we've gone down, so I'm sure that's fine. But that makes it so we don't need that tool, um, which is good because it wouldn't fit in there anyway. To drain the oil, uh, you just unscrew this, and that comes down in uh, a tube right here, which I'm gonna put the drip pan right on top of the cooler, um, so that way we don't lose any. There we go. Black gold. All right, now I do all the same things. I fill the oil filter up with oil, screw it back on, and uh, fill up the oil pan. I'll turn it on, make sure it doesn't leak, and then uh, I think I'll call it quits. The generator started right up, and I'm not seeing any leaks. So I think we're good to go. I'm gonna clean up, and then I think we're gonna have some dinner. So we're gonna start heading towards Austin, where we're gonna be mooch docking in Laura and Damon's not driveway, but their subdivision at least. Um, Oakley is very sad, however, because I'm pretty sure she wants to be a cow now. Like she smells less like a dog and more like a cow. So there's that. In a previous video, I talked about how she hates the cows and now all of a sudden the cows are her best friend. So whatever. 